Hello, hello. Okay, so <laughs> this is Noemi. Uh, I am making this video because I have this like most amazing testimony. Um, my son, David, he just recently turned 18. And from that, he had gotten like, you know, an inheritance. And today, as I'm as I'm watching the like, kingdom culture training through Bethel Church in California, I get this PayPal notification that $500 was donated to my ministry, to BG2G. And I'm like, huh? And a little while ago, like beforehand, my son had texted me and he was like, um, what did he say? He said, you know, I love you. And they have a little kissy face. So I was like, oh, I love you too. But I didn't know that it was my son that he had donated on purpose $500. Like, people, you guys who know me, I don't come from a wealthy, like, family. $500 is, in my personal opinion, like supernatural generosity it is actually counterculture generosity for my 18 year old son okay this isn't like someone well established in his life in his career this is my 18 year old son donated five hundred dollars into his mom's ministry like this it's just um, my mind is just blown away i i have so many mixed emotions it's like this is my baby he's this is this is like a testimony of the fruit of god's values of biblical value biblical love like i raised my kids knowing that i had no clue how to properly raise them <laughs> like i had i wasn't you know i was like listen i come from a dysfunctional family like i have no clue i was barely 18 myself when i had my son so ah, uh, i'm just i'm a proud mom right now and this is to me it's proof that even in American culture, which is so self-centered driven, um, that implementing and instilling biblical values and loving your children in a, in a biblical worldview with a biblical worldview bears like glorious fruit. Like, I can actually glow over the fact that my 18-year-old used his birthday money to bless his mom with $500. <laughs> like, and we're not wealthy. Like, I live in a studio apartment. I don't even have a one-bedroom, you know. But I, we have abundance because God is with us and God has raised me and my sons. And this is the type of just generosity and love that we exchange with each other because God is good and he's been he's raised us up and we embrace biblical truth in scripture I embrace it and I instill it in my children and I drill it into them we're called to raise up a child in the way that he should go and when he is old they will not depart from it so I know that you know, if this is bearing fruit now, even if my son wanders later on, it's just, it's going to be a short season because God is in my life and he's in my sons and he has invested in, in us. We were needy, really rejected people. I was rejected. All three of us were fatherless, you know, me and my sons, like we had no family God took us in and he's really done a work and I'm I get the privilege to like see it so I'm like happy mom here <laughs> you know I'm blessed and I just wanted to share 
this testimony that God is good. Seek first the kingdom and all the promises of joy, unspeakable, is just, it's going to be there for you. But you need to seek his kingdom. Look for it as fine gold. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Yet here in America, people, you know, lose their souls for much less than what the world has to offer. Like, we exchange, you know, for food, for just for petty stuff, for minor attention. We exchange the promises and the goodness that God has to offer. And I'm just like, ah, my baby has such an abundant generous heart and you know so i'm just i'm moved i'm touched and i'm sharing this on facebook to all those who just want to listen like i'm i'm really blessed right now as a as a young mom and seeing my son and his generosity and and that he believes in me. And this is not just my little one. Like, my older son, too. He ended up writing a review for my ministry before he went back to college. So, like, there's just so much love in my family. And me and my sons, particularly, because because of God. Because of his word. Because of how much I needed his word to guide as a as as a guide in my life and to this day like i love the the word of god and and i love the lord and i'm seeing the fruit it's so worth it like taste and see that the lord is good um god is just so good and he's about family and he wants us to raise our kids well and and love well and serve each other well and i just I'm happy. So, uh, my son turned 18, but I'm I'm rejoicing, and and I got a present out of it. Yay! <laughs> well, the ministry did, so it's all gonna go back into the ministry. So I'm just really happy that I I just my kids we're just out of this world. This isn't our home. We don't belong here. We seek a kingdom you know, uh, that is out of this world and we have these values and, oh, God's word is good and his love endures forever. And, oh, you know, I'm just so, so, so happy. I have abundant joy and it's not just the amount. It's like my son believes in me, you know, like, oh, I am just, I'm wrecked. I'm wrecked, you know, because as a teen mom, who, you know, the statistics, everything, like, it was just so, the drugs, the addiction, everything, it's in my story, and to be here, and be saying these things, and that my sons are honorable, and, and they, oh, they, they value generosity, and, and they, all, all on their own, it's just like, it's supernatural, it's a, uh, supernatural work of god because the word of god does not return void it bears fruit on all who hear um and it's countercultural because it's just you know the kingdom of god none compares you know that's our celestial home it's good news it's not a boring place like god <laughs> is is fun and the kingdom is not of ju- it's not just of mere words meaning it's not something that we debate but we experience it with power and i just feel that this generosity of my son towards this ministry towards his mom's ministry is evidence of power you know cultivated into his heart because of the word of god and um i'm just so wrecked and blessed right now because i just am so um yeah all right peace and love bye